Okay, I am almost positive. Like I, never mind. I'm not almost. Subtract that. I am more fucked up than you are. It's, I mean, it's not a competition. Like I mean, it's not like I, I'm looking. I'm not looking down on you. But I'm like, you're like, I clicked on this video. What's going on? Ooh, what's going on is I am fucked up. But we're gonna do Mr. Dimple. Where are you now with an umlaw? 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 <clears throat> I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know, but I don't know. And supposedly this is like good. Can we just go then? Like what I'm supposed to say, like I'm, I'm gonna like say something like intelligent right now, all fucked up. No, there's no chance of that happening. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, do the video. I'm just gonna do it. I fucking see you, man. I can see you. Like, what are you doing? Let's do this, let's go. Mr. Temple, you better be good. Okay, we're rolling. Oh, all right. Do I look good? Yeah. Okay. So, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Temple. My real name is Akbar Hadi. <laughs> I'm from Malaysia, and this is my first shout out to Swiss Beatbox, and I'm so excited. All right, so let's get started. This is a huge shout out to. I don't like the echo, but I do like his uh, confidence. I like his, how his energy is very high. I like he has a collared shirt. I know it's fucked up, right? Because like I'm wearing a pizza cat shirt. But I like his collared shirt. I like his confidence. I like his enthusiasm. He sounds like someone that's going to like kill it. But I don't like the echo in the room. So like, hopefully that's not in the video. Somebody goes out. Ray Razor. Big Box International. Be it sounds like he's in a giant cathedral. It sounds like he's in like a, uh, I don't know, 13th century Eastern European church. And not forgetting. Swiss beatbox, you say three, I say the one, hot shot, beatbox. That's what it sounds like to me. Also, just riding on a dry race board is kind of always kind of good. Like every... I dare you. How many times have you written on a, like, not because someone called you to the front of the class. How many times have you been there and you wrote on a dry erase board and it wasn't dope? It's always dope. So this guy, he's coming from my heart. I have nothing but the highest hopes for him. But that Echo doll. And so let's get this started. <clears throat> Oh shit, he's actually doing a room mic. Oh fuck, dude. Okay, alright. Open minds, open minds, open hearts. Open minds, open hearts. I want the best for this guy. It sounds like he's in an airport terminal. That's kind of fucked up. Let's go. I give you attention when nobody has a spin. Ooh. I give you the shirt of my back for the same. Oh, good for him. He's, he's starting off with vocals, and his vocals are good. To keep you warm, I show you the claim. Everybody else was playing. That's for sure. That's actually very good. Very good. And now good. some of my dreams, but nobody else was playing. Oh, Lord. Sorry, I'm keep I'm choosing to keep my eyes closed because like I'm just like I just want to take it in as it's just music because yeah, it's not good for me to watch. I'm just gonna listen. Oh, that I need to do. Drops. 
Okay, okay, okay. This guy is uh, very, very good. The audio is shit. The audio is absolute dog shit. But he sounds so good that it lets me know that he's actually way better than this. But this audio is, is really, is really bad. <laughs> Actually, I want to say, like, he might... I'm trying to think before I say it. Um, he is one of the cleanest I've heard, ever. Between his vocal line and his melody line. Sorry, he's got a vocal line. He has two lines in the melody. Uh, like a middle line and a lower line. And they're all very good. They're all very much in tempo. They're in key. He is ex I think he's exceptionally good. I would like to hear them hear him not in a fucking um, airport terminal or wherever he is. The audio sucks. The audio is fucking terrible. But he's so good you can tell that he's amazing through it. So I'd like to hear him not in this uh, setting. Oh, nice. He kept the beat up. So he slowed down, he put the bass. But then he filled in the bass with these really quick uh, drum fills. Like this syncopation on the percussion. I don't know if it's syncopation, but he is filling, he's filling in these gaps. Boom, 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 boom. That's not his bass line. That's not his bass line. I'm just like making one up. Uh, but he's filling it up. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, and he's nailing all of it and his pitch is on point. On all of his melody, it's all, it's all perfect. It's just the quality is, it's not his fault. It's just like where he's recording. This guy is, this guy is extremely good. Right there. I can't, dude, I can't even sing back what he's saying and keep it in tune. But that's because I suck. But hold on. Right there. Boom, ba, da. I'm already out of tune. Boom, ba, da. Oh, I can't even see it. Boom, ba, ba, da. Boom, ba, da. Boom. Is he going up an octave and then down to the fifth? Is that what it? Boom, ba, da. Boom, ba, da. Boom, ba, da. I'm gonna have a fucking guitar. Boom bada. E? No boom boom. Oh, that's it. Uh root to fifth to six. Yeah, so he's changing per per key, uh, but he's going root five, six, five, root five, six, five, so. I don't hear, I didn't hear who did on the last chord. Hold up. So he's an E minor, he's an E minor, and he's going... That's his bass line. That's the bass line. It's, it's a root, fifth, six, root, five, six, five, but for each chord he's going over, so it's...
So he's playing E minor to D major to C major to B major. So wait, he's doing E minor. Oh, sorry, I'm just like playing this back in my head. He's doing E minor to D major, C major to B major. So he's he could be doing this is the progression, but I'm gonna play it differently. But this he's doing this exact progression. He's going like. Those are the same songs. Those are exactly the same thing. It's just he's outlining different aspects of the chord. So, um, whoops, not E minor. Sorry, not E major. God damn it! I know the wrong chord. It's an E minor. That's his song. That's what he's playing. With his mouth. With his mouth instrument. Like that. Oh, but see now, here's like what seems simple. He's like shout out to my Malaysian people. Is um, for a second he's not doing anything musically, and so when he goes back to beatboxing, he has to go back to his old pitch. He has to go back to where the sound is, and typically for me, I would be I would miss I would miss the pitch. You go back to what you think is correct, but you because you spoke for a second, you misplace where your notes are. Uh, but he's talked for a second, and I was going right back to exactly where the note is. He's still right in tune. That's pretty bonkers. So this is E minor. This is E minor. Yeah, this is all still E minor. This is crazy. He's like staying right on key. Like I could play like some E minor shit on top of this, and it would work because he's just sitting there on E minor. He's uh, he's chilling. So he went from moving across the chords in E minor from E minor to what do you do? E minor. D major, C major, B major. Is that what he did? Yeah, I think that's right. E minor, D major, C major, B major. Going from uh, the root to the flat seven to the flat six to the five chord. Um, but then now he's just been chilling on E minor for the last couple of seconds. He's just kind of grooving on the uh, one chord on the E. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. yeah, the dude's on fire. I actually just want to see like how in key he is and if my guitar's tuned. Because if, if I'm right, then on this last section he just did, I should be able to like play E minor blues. Or E minor whatever. I should be able to play right now. I don't know if the video's gonna be in sync. But if I play E minor right now then I should actually be able to jam on top of what he's doing because he's basically a rhythm section and he's playing E minor. So he's at 317. Let's back him up a little bit. I'm curious. This should work though because I think his pitch is so in control. He's like a rhythm section. <laughs> Yep. Sure. 
Ash. Yeah. He did. He maintained it the whole time. His pitch was like fucking on point the whole fucking time. That's crazy. That guy is super good. Super uh, crazy good. He's so good that even the fact that he was recording in like maybe the world's shittiest environment, uh, he sounded great. So, Mr. Dimple, you are what uh, my parents would say, a bad motherfucker. You are a bad motherfucker, sir. Very good. And that concludes this reaction. He's probably the best beatboxer I've heard recording in a shitty place. He's really recording in maybe the worst idea, like the worst, like don't record there. Like you could go to a bathroom stall in the same place. There's a bathroom and he recorded in a bathroom. It would probably sound better, like not in front of the mirror, but I'm saying he went to a stall. It would probably sound better in a stall with a toilet than it sounded where he recorded. But he still sounded great. He overcame all that. Uh, Mr. Dimple, where are you now? Well, I know where you are. You're like in some building with like really reflective walls and it's unflattering. But you are a bad motherfucker. Where am I? Ah, I'm over here drinking alcohol, but you didn't ask about me. But you kind of did because it's called Where Are You Now? So I'm answering you. You are awesome, Mr. Dimple. And that is a fucking reaction. Ba -ba -do 